Hello again, everybody. Here we are at Max's Garage Mahal. And since we had such a monumental fail on the Rao OB 18 volt P2080 trimmer, took it back to replace it. Pretty good drive, little rocking back. Not great big, but you know, it's just enough that it's relatively expensive if you buy something at a brick and mortar and you have to return it. It's, um, it's a bit of a expense, so we bought another one. We we checked the first one against the second one, and the second one had the same movement in the shaft between the shaft and the head. The first one locked up, and it wouldn't allow me to twist the head from trim to weed eater. So that was unacceptable because then it was just an edger. So that really wasn't a great deal. So we took it back. Check the next one, same way, next one, same way, only the second and third one was worse than the first, so that was going backwards. Another thing it did that I didn't put on the, uh, I don't think I put on the other video, was the thing kept extending the, the trim line, which is not a good thing because you only want the trim line out as far as you need it, and if it keeps feeding it out and cutting it off, so in this yard yesterday, or I guess it was Monday, this is Wednesday uh, for, let's see, what is this, like the 18th of April, 2019. The other one used a full spool of trim line, and it should have used somewhere in the neighborhood of about a third, quarter to a third. So, all right, so we bought a 40 volt Ralby, and it's right down here in the floor. There you go right there. And let's see if I can get this thing zeroed in on it a little bit closer, a little tighter, so that you can see what it says. It says, I'll just bring it up here to you. Ralby, 40 volt lithium, expanded 15 inch cordless string trimmer. It's gas like power. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'll be the judge of that. And it says it is uh, more power, more runtime, lower weight. Now, this thing weighs as much as my gas trimmer, so I'm not going to say it's lower weight. Uh, it's attachment capable. It has all these things that you can buy and put on it. I doubt if I do any of that, but we might. You never know. So, it's supposed to come with, let's see, it says it is a variable speed trigger, reloads in under 60 seconds. That reminds me of a movie. It says gone in 60 seconds. Hope this is not that way. <laughs> this is supposed to include a 4 amp hour battery and charger. All right. Well, let's open this sucker up. See what's in the box. And then we will uh, see if the thing will fire the first lick on the battery. It's not going to be fully charged. We know that battery's not going to be fully charged. But all we want to do for this segment of this video, because we'll have to do a little bit more than we're doing right here and that is to charge the battery to test this thing so let's get it out and take a look and uh, I have to get it out in little pieces here it looks like aha it has cardboard cardboard could be a good thing it has one of these things which just came apart I don't know if that's a good thing or not alright let's see if we can get this all out here you know what? Let's use gravity because it doesn't seem to want to come out by itself. So let's just turn the booger upside down. Isn't gravity an amazing thing? Take this one and get a box off this thing, right? Oh, Lord have mercy. The battery must weigh 900 pounds. Of course, I realize y'all think that may be an exaggeration. Actually, it is. So, there's the battery. My goodness, this sucker is huge. Here is the power supply for the battery charger. That's the battery charger. Man, that ain't the quick charger. Take that how long to charge? Forever. Alright, so let's see if that's everything out of there. 
Feels like it may be. So let's see what we got here. We have the head or the power end. It looks like a drill motor right here, which is pretty neat. And it's got the place for the battery. It says 40 volt on it. That makes sense. And it's got a dead man switch built into the power switch. That's a good thing. All right, I'm going to loosen this up right here. Now, let's see. I guess all that is is just a cover to keep that electrical from getting shorted out on something while you're installing this. So let's see. How does this work? It goes in here like this, maybe? Or maybe not. It's got to go in there like that. And it goes over there. You know, these other ones a lot easier to put together, wouldn't it? All right, so what's the deal here, guys? All right. Now then, is this adjustable here? So, I don't know if you can see it like that. We may have to take it outside here in a moment. But what we do want to do, it, it is a double string head with a bump on it, which is going to be an upgrade to the 18 volt. Because it had a little button over here on the side, so you had to stop the machine, turn it upside down, push a little button, and that would allow the, the string to then to be pulled out to feed outward. So, that's going to be an upgrade. So, let's go ahead and pull this tape off right here. And this thing ready to operate okay so that gives that some freedom we we'll put it over here out of the way for a moment and let's get the battery out of the box see what that's going to look like and put the knife back in my pocket didn't I okay so here we go here's the battery I don't know if you can see that. Let me pan down here. Alright, there's the battery in the box. It says Ryobi on it. And it is a good set. Oh, and it comes in a Ziploc bag, guys. Look at this. That is neat. A Ziploc bag. We can reuse that and put pickles or something in it. Alright, so it is a 40 volt. 4 amp hour lithium ion battery and it's made it's a OP 40401 li ion 40 volt 144 watt hour 4 amp hour so here's what it looks like on all the corners all right let's see if this sticker will fire up and hit a little I guess we could push the button, see if it has any charge. Don't have any, don't have a display light on it, so I guess we can't tell. Alright, so here we go. All we want to do is hear this thing run, so cock your ears and let's hear. Sounds pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this battery off here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery, we're going to put it on the charger, and we're going to come back when this thing is totally charged, and we're going to take it outside, and we're going to start using this trimmer, and just see how the thing works, see how well it works, and make sure everything stays where you put it, but before we shut this thing off, we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the charger, see if the battery will charge, so I'm going to put the charger and the battery together and we will know whether or not that's going to charge or hopefully we'll know anyway so let me get this off here temporarily plug her in over here in the old light socket or the wall socket hope it ain't the light socket plug this booger in right here There we go. Now, 
what that music is about. That is to remind me at 5 p.m. to take my uh, take my antibiotic that I've been on now for like uh, I've been on now since January, and it's the second extended round. I got on it back in I think August and was on it till December, and then had to get back on it again in January. So. Um, I'm not getting as much done as I was for a while, so y'all bear with me, and we'll get back on this stuff and get a little bit better. We will start making videos and turn them out like we was for a while, so. Alrighty, so that's where we're at. It says, ah, there we go. Can you see the little light flashing? Or have I got too much light in here? There's a little green light right there. Okay, now you can see the little green light. That tells me that the battery is taking a charge. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to finish putting the handle on. I'm going to put on the trim spring guard cutter. And then uh, when I come back, this should be charged. Everything should be on it, adjusted. And then we will take it outdoors. It's probably going to be raining. And it's supposed to rain a lot. So... We may not get to do this until tomorrow's Thursday. We may not get to do this till Friday or Saturday. So we'll get this video up and I'll give you an idea. I'm going to try to run this thing long enough to run this battery down from a full charge. And we'll see how long it takes the string, you know, how long the string lasts that came on it. And I'm going to take the thing apart and see how much string it is that they issued with it. And uh, I'll let you know approximately how long that is. So when we come back, We'll have some information. We'll have it ready to go outside and show you the the trimmer at work. So thank you. We'll be back shortly. Alrighty, so we're back. And let's check this skull. As you can see, we are now fully charged. Okay. And it's on a probably slow charger. They're not really fast. This is what came with the machine here. It's a power supply with a power head, and you plug the battery into that, of course, and off she goes. So it did fully charge, according to the lights on it, again, it shows that we've got everything it's supposed to have. And let's see if I showed you this. It does come with the, the uh, literature, a little dab of extra trim wire here, trim string. And a winder to uh, to make it a little more rapid to install your your string. So, real quickly, let's put the sucker on here. And that's pretty quick. So again, you've got the dead man trigger here. You have to push this forward in order to engage that. And this is what it's going to look like totally assembled. It's now got the handle on it. It's now got the head here. This is also a cutter edge right here that when the string comes around, once you bump this, it's going to let out a little too much string and it's going to cut off with this blade the extra string. So I guess the next thing to do is go out and give this sucker a test and see what it'll do. And I believe it'll probably do all right because this thing sounds really strong. So let's go outside for a moment and see if we can make the same work. Alrighty, here we are outside. And this is going to be like take four. <laughs> Actually, it's probably more than that. Uh, what happened was I took this and then I removed the memory card from the camera. Once I did that, I went inside to do something on the computer, came back and found that I had lost three of these last takes for this proof of um, quality or, or that the thing works. So here it is totally assembled and this time you can see now it's got a little dirt on it where I actually did the uh, fence row behind us here and uh, it's got the... Hi, how you doing? It's got the handle on it it's got the guard on it, and um, it's ready to go. So we're going to fire it up, do some more cutting real quickly just so that you can see how it works. 
Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So, give me a second, and I'll set up on a different location. This thing seems to have just as much power as my uh, 30cc Rauby four stroke and it uh, weighs a little bit less so I don't know I think I'm gonna like it I am gonna go ahead and use it some and, and we'll come back in a few months and give you a different update and let you notice how well this thing works and how it, uh, how it operates as far as after I've abused it with trimming and edging and such and let's make sure that the bumper works. I hadn't tried that yet. Worked great. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's been good having you here at Max's Rudd Mahal. Hope you'll if you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe. Hit that like button down here at the bottom. And uh, y'all come back and see me now here, Max's Rudd Mahal. Thank you.